In this video, we are going to compare the two most popular shotguns in the game, starting with the stats that both have in common, that are just the melee damage of 1325, a similar movement speed, a similar aim area, and the reload speed of four seconds when the ammo is completely empty. Now, let's start with the differences, where the reload speed for the UU-10, when the ammo is not completely empty, will depend on the number of bullets to recharge. And don't worry if you increase the clip capacity because the maximum time will always be of four seconds when the ammo is completely empty. In the other hand, the XL-20 will take only one second to recharge one bullet, which makes me think that four seconds for two bullets is kind of excessive and probably decreasing the reload time is a necessary buff for this weapon. And talking about munition, the UU-10 has a base of six bullets that will be more than enough when facing one or even two enemies, with the possibility to increase that amount of bullets with mods, talents or operators, while the XL-20 just has two bullets and there's no operator, mod or talent that could increase its ammo. So, missing a bullet or facing more than one enemy could give you less chances to survive. For the aim speed, the UU-10 takes 0.06 seconds to start shooting, while the XL-20 takes four times that with 0.24 seconds to start shooting, which I think it's a little bit excessive, and that amount of time gives more opportunities for the enemy to dodge the bullets. But let's talk about the damage because for shotguns or even for pistols like the Lupara or the Mac, the damage depends on the accuracy and distance. So much so that when we increase the accuracy, the distance decreases. And when we increase the distance, the accuracy decreases. So this mod could be a joke if not combined correctly. But let's analyze the ranges of effectiveness for the UU-10 because this weapon has four ranges of damage. The first one at nine and eight meters, where the damage vary between zero and 1300. The second one at seven, six and five meters, where the damage vary between 500 and 1500. The third one at 4.5 meters, where the damage vary between 2200 and 3200. And the last one at 3.5 meters, where we have its maximum damage of 4,285. For the XL-20, there are only two ranges of effectiveness. The first one at seven meters, where the damage is 3,000, and the second one at six meters, where we have its maximum damage of 5,110. Now, let's analyze the fire rate as we always do, as a time to kill. So, for the UU-10 at its maximum damage, we would need three bullets to defeat an enemy with 9,000 of HP. That at 90 bullets per minute, it would take two seconds. And for the XL-20 at its maximum accuracy, we would need only two bullets. That at 105 bullets per minute, and the 0.24 seconds that it takes to aim, it would take 1.4 seconds to defeat that enemy. So, we can conclude that the XL-20 will kill enemies faster than the UU-10 with a higher range of effectiveness. But the UU-10 will be more effective against multiple enemies at really short distances. So, if you want to use the UU-10, I'd suggest using it with operators that have a lot of health and mobility like Owen or Klaus, so you could get closer easily and have the maximum damage. And you can combine it with mods for movement speed if you are not going to use adrenaline or mods for accuracy if you want to use adrenaline. In that case, Syndrome could be a really good option. And if you want to use it with JB, he will arrange the accuracy ranges. And if you want to use the XL-20, I'd suggest using operators like Jason that fully reloads ammo after dodging, Chen Li that deals extra damage with her electric field in case you miss a bullet, or you hit the first one at seven meters and the second one at six with its maximum damage. But the enemy has more than 8,110 HP. Another good option are operators like Moses or Syndrome that allow you to recharge due to the amount of health. Or in this case, JB that allows you to shoot at seven meters or even higher with the extra distance talent and mod, having its maximum damage at any range. Anyway guys, if you want to know the differences between the MM66 and the Rotogun, go watch this video. Or if you want to know more interesting stuff like this, go watch this other one. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.